Welcome to the Interface Primer. This tutorial will teach you how to navigate the map in Weather Defender using your mouse and keyboard. We'll also provide a quick overview of the main interface buttons and toolbars. You will see how Weather Defender was designed to be as simple as possible while providing you with the most crucial weather information, so you are always aware of the weather threats in your area. Now let's get started. When you first start Weather Defender, you will be presented with a visual map. You will see cities, streets, and other details on this map. Often when storms are present, you'll want to reposition the map to get a better view of things. Or you may want to zoom in closer to see more details. To reposition the map, move your mouse cursor to the center of the screen, then press and hold the left mouse button while at the same time moving your mouse up, down, left, or right. Release the left mouse button to let the screen redraw. To zoom, press and hold the right mouse button and move your mouse down or backward to zoom in. Move the mouse up or forward to zoom out. If your mouse has a mouse wheel, you may also roll it forward or backward to zoom in and out. To return to the default home view, just click the Go to Home button in the upper left of your screen. This will instantly take you back to the default view you started with. Along the left-hand side of the screen is the Map Layers window. Use this window to control what kinds of weather and geographic information are displayed on your screen. Each item in the window is a button representing a corresponding layer on your map. If the button is lit up in orange, it is active, otherwise it is not currently displayed. To activate or deactivate a particular layer, simply click the button. To keep things better organized, similar types of layers are grouped together. In the default map, the groups are System Layers, Reference, Severe Weather, Radar, and Base Map Layers. Expand or collapse groups of layers by clicking on the group name. For example, to display railroad tracks on your map, which are deactivated by default, you would expand the reference group and click the Railroads layer. More details on individual layers are provided in Lesson 2. In the upper right of the screen is the Map Legend window. This window will display different details about the layers you have active. At the very top of the screen is the Shield menu, which lets you save changes to your map or open other maps. To the right of the Shield menu is the Quick Access Toolbar, containing commonly used tasks. You can customize this toolbar to your preference as with other Windows applications. Just below is the Main Toolbar, divided into four main tabs, Map, Team, Interface, and Help. Clicking on one of these tabs will display the toolbar and its options. On the Map tab, you will find buttons and tools for interacting with the map. These include Pan and Zoom tools, Drawing tools, and other customization options. Holding the mouse over a particular button will display details about that function. The Team tab contains tools for collaborating with other users. The Interface tab contains window, color, and sound settings. If you close the map layers or legend windows, you may get them back by selecting them on the Interface tab. And the Help tab contains support and account options. This concludes the Interface Primer. In this tutorial, you'll learn the basics for navigating the map and interacting with layers in Weather Defender. One of the things you'll appreciate about Weather Defender is its simple point-and-click interface. We made great efforts to keep the interface as simple as possible without compromising the quality or integrity of the weather data. And now that you understand the basics, you are ready to learn the more powerful features of Weather Defender. Features that could one day save your life.